Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Okay, so I just totally ruined the last video that I made. <laughs> um, I just totally dropped the um the tripod fell over and then it stopped recording and so I couldn't just like leave it like that. So I'm gonna refilm it. Okay, so I'm back with another project share for my quarantine um uh projects because I'm at home and you know, I'm not going to work every day. So last week I did have to go to work, but this week I am off again. And I heard that it got extended. So I don't know about my workplace, but I know for the statewide it got extended. So we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to get stuff done and, you know, have fun with some of the things that I'm doing. So um, this is really fun. Oh my God, like I haven't been this excited to make embellishments in a really long time. So I want to thank, I think it was Wandi and Bona. Bona um, for doing her tassel tutorial and Wandi for doing the um, embellishment tutorial of how she used the tassels. Um, because, oh my god, it was so much fun. It was a little bit, like I wanted to get it just done. And so it was, it took many steps to make it. But now that I'm like finished with them, I'm like so happy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let me just kind of show you what I did. So, um, Wandi's tutorial was more like for this type where you have like a circle and then <clears throat> like a scallop and then another circle. You use like foam tape and then you have like embellishments on it. So I think she used a lot of the word um, beads and I got mine from Rena like years ago. Hi, Rena. Um, look, I'm using them finally. Yay. This is my... She bought me like two um, boxes of it and I used... I guess I used one already and he found the new one so I opened that up and I started using it and so this is the tassel that um, Bona did her tutorial on um, I it took me a while to finish them because I didn't have um, these 10 millimeter jump rings and then then I didn't I couldn't use um, set the eyelets because my crocodile had died so I finally got my new crocodile in last night and um, I was able to do all of my eyelets this morning. Then I was just on a roll in like making them because I had some, a lot of these were like already done where I had it um, mounted, but I just didn't add it to the circle and then I didn't attach this. So once um, I had everything kind of half done, I just sat here and I just kind of glued everything together and oh my God, it was so much fun. Okay, so let me just share the different types that I did. Um, <clears throat> I had made these pinwheels earlier I shared that as part of my stash building and so I made some with the pinwheels and oh my god that was so much fun so these are more like fun ones like doodle bug type papers um this one and this one and it was like doodle bug and I I think um sunny studio had a bunch that I used and then I did some um, shabby ones. This one I might put like a rose in the middle just to have a little bit more pink. And then this one I tried to put like a word bead to make it a little bit different from the others. Um, this one I put a rose, see how like kind of looks nice with the rose. And then this one I just kept it more plain. And then this one. I had fun with those. Oh, and then this one, like, I added the bow on the bottom. Okay, so that was my pinwheel ones. And then I made these because I had some bows that were, like, already done. I showed you that in another video. These were using that Stampin' Up! punch. Um, so I just kind of played around with colors. And in a way, this was a um, good lesson for me because I haven't really... <clears throat> I haven't really made things where, like, I'm pattern mixing... Um, and that was hard for me, like, to not use, like, all the same collection or make it all matchy-matchy. Like, this is actually, like, the umbrella paper, which is weird for me to use, like, you know. So I'm very proud of myself, because that was, <laughs> that was really hard. Um, so some of them I put, like, the roses in the middle, and some I just left plain, because you can always add, um, an embellishment in there. Um, so it was super fun. Like, I'd never had this much fun making embellishments in a really long time. This one I didn't show because, um, I put it back because I wanted to say that, um, I got this bow, I think it was from Ginger when we did an embellishment swap, like, a year ago or so. Um, and I found it in the embellishment box. I was looking, going through all that stuff to find small embellishments. 
and it was perfect because then it just matched all the well not totally matched but it kind of matched the theme I was going with um and then I also found like a bunch of seed beads so I was super happy because I was just about to order some okay so that's the bow ones and then these are the more traditional ones like the ones I think Wandi had shown but I had so much fun making them, like adding the word bead and then my butterflies. So now I have a whole bunch of punch butterflies that I'm going to just make more of these like double ones where they look like they're flying. Um, but I had, a, I had so much fun making them. Oh my god. Even my daughter was like, oh, it's so cute. This one I wanted to showcase the butterfly that was there. Uh, it was so fun. Like I didn't want to stop. Like we're building a fence for my dog. My husband's outside, like, so I, and I knew I had to go help him, but, like, I didn't want to stop making them. So, finally, I had to stop because it was getting dark outside. <clears throat> so, anyway, I I don't I have no idea what I'm going to use these for, to be honest. But I'm just, it just makes me happy to look at them. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. I had so much fun. Okay, and then these last ones are the ones I made um, because I had some hearts already punched. These are like a scallop heart. And um, and then I just wanted to utilize them somehow. So I, I double back them like I to make them a little bit stronger because these have multiple layers, so they're already stronger. But this one was just the heart itself. So I, I layered one on top of the other um, before punching the eyelet. So some I kept a little bit more fun, not as shabby. These are more shabby. Oh, sorry. Here's another bow one, but this is on heart. And then this one is really cute. And then this is, oh, my flower is falling off. You have to glue that back on. So that's the cherry blossom paper from Prima. And then this one, and then uh, the other bow that Ginger had given me. So that is my project share. I am super, super happy. I don't even know, like I said, I don't even know what I'm going to use these for, but I am going to just look at them because <laughs> they make me so happy. And I've been really trying to use up all of my um, scraps. So I just have like a ton of like butterflies and um all of those things already punched so that when I sit down and I am ready to make them like it's so fast and like then you get like a ton of them all together so I probably will be sharing some of these um I plan on sending out you know some happy mail soon um but I I don't know like I have nobody to really swap with so um if you guys are interested in swapping let me know <laughs> just um, put a comment down below and then maybe we can get together on something Okay, I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.